Today I'm going to talk about how to tell the difference between mucor piriformis and Rhizopus stroniform. According to the classification of fungus-like organisms, mucor piriformis and Rhizopus stroniform belong to the group called Zygomycetes, which is different from Ascomycetes or Basidiomycetes that include Fusarium, Penicillium, and Yeast, or most of mushrooms, respectively. Since mucor and rhizopus are in the same group, they have the same structure such as sporangia and sporangia folds, which makes it difficult to tell the difference between these two species. In this video, you will learn how to tell the difference between mucor piriformis and rhizopus stronifer just by looking at their colony morphology or disease symptom. First, colony morphology on potato dextros aga media. At 20 degrees Celsius for two days, both fungi grow very quickly. Sporangiophores of mucor piriformis erect straight and start to produce sporangia around the center of the media. For Rhizopus stronifer, the presence of sporangia is not obvious at this point, and the mycelia weave around on the media. Both fungi filled the PDA plate on the third day. Mucor piriformis produced sporangia from the center to the edge as they developed. Rhizopus stronifa produced abundant black sporangia mainly on the edge of the plate, forming a black letter O shape. Now at 5 degrees Celsius for 7 days, mucor piriformis grows slowly and it started to produce sporangia in the center of the media. Rhizopus stronifer, however, cannot grow below 5 degrees Celsius. This graph shows mycelial growth at various temperatures. Temperatures on the x-axis and the mycelial growth on the y-axis. Red line is mucor piriformis and the blue line is Rhizopus stronifer. As you can see, mucor piriformis can grow at low temperature, even from 0 degrees Celsius to 5 degrees Celsius. But rhizopus cannot grow below 5 degrees Celsius. Mucor piriformis cannot grow over 27 degrees Celsius, while rhizopus stronifer can grow until 35 degrees Celsius. Now let's take a look at the disease symptom on grape tomato. On the third day, mucor piriformis formed a sporangia force that erect straight, while mycelia of Rhizopus stronifer started to creep on the surface of the fruits. On the sixth day, sporangia force of mucor piriformis grew even higher, and a new sporangia force started to develop from the bottom of the fruits. For Rhizopus stronifer, the fruits was completely covered by mycelia. Its woven mycelia make it look like a bird nest. Here is disease symptom on strawberry. On the third day, mucor piriformis developed long shining sporangia fours. For Rhizopus stronifer, on the second day, mycelia started to creep on the surface of the fruits. And on the third day, fruits was completely covered by mycelia. Here is disease symptom on mandarin fruits. Mucor piriformis developed long shining sporangia fours, on the top of which bear blackish sporangia. Mycelia of Rhizopus stronifer, on the other hand, creep on the surface, making a large lesion on the skin. Here is a summary. On PDA media, mucor piriformis develops a raised colony and produces sporangia as they grow towards the edge of the plate. Rhizopus stronifer develops mycelia that go everywhere inside the media, and its sporangia are found mainly on the edge of the plate. At 0 to 5 degrees Celsius, mucor piriformis can grow slowly, but rhizopus cannot grow at all. Disease symptom of mucor piriformis looks spiky, while that of Rhizopus stronifer looks spooky. 
If it's spiky, that's mucor pyriformis. And if it's spooky, that's Rhizopus stolonifer. I hope you can now tell the difference between mucor pyriformis and Rhizopus stolonifer. But please be aware that some Rhizopus species look like mucor pyriformis and vice versa. And various factors such as temperature, relative humidity, pH, and nutrient affect disease symptom. The disease symptom shown in this video may not be the same if it develops under different conditions. For more details, please refer to the document in the description. If you like this video, please like or comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.